Hey guys, how's it going? We're back, Game Dev Tycoon, Sly Death Man Inc. Let's start it. Alright, Phil, we got no projects, so let's start this. Um, Alright. Hmm, should we make another game in now? Just for the gamepad, we're not gonna do it. Should we do any contract work? Maybe a little bit. Oh no, stop scratching your head, we're gonna lose money. Phil, what are you doing? Phil, you incompetent fool. Um, we have the money, let's research a joystick as well for the next time we wanna make a game engine. And then let's make another game. What game should we make? Maybe we should look into another topic. Hmm. Let's go fantasy. Let's research a fantasy game. Recent studies suggest that increasing variety of the game devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers while others cater for more mature age groups. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their game on specific age groups to really make an impact. Okay. And we can research a target audience now. Come on, Phil. Why do you always gotta scratch your head? Alright, so we research fantasy. How much will it cost? We need 15 research points and 40,000. We can do it. Alright, so we got 153,000 in the bank. Only have six research points left, so we need to make another game. And, hmm, maybe actually now could be the time to make a new game engine. Let's see how much it would cost first. If it costs too much, then we'll make another game and make some money off of that. Um, actually, target audience is not on this, so we won't do that. We will develop a new game. You can now specify your main target audience is for your game. Games can be targeted at young people or ev at everyone or at mature audiences, okay? Picking the right target audience for your game is important. Your target platform can also play a role. Some platforms are usually popular with specific audience. Alright, so I'm gonna do fantasy. Let's do a hmm. Well, let's do a fantasy RPG for the PC. Slymatic 1.0. What should the game be called? Fantasy RPG. Hmm. Again, with the Skyrim reference, but this time just now the scrolls one. Oblivion. No, actually, we'll call it Daggerfall, since that was the second Elder Scrolls game. Daggerfall. And we're gonna target that mature audiences. Next. Alright, that's good. Alright. Phil, we're gonna make groundbreaking games. Stories and quests all the way up. Gameplay lower. And engine, that is good. Alright. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, report for Planet GG. Oh, GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview about this? Yes, we will give an interview. Great, thank you for your time. We will publish an interview next week. Alright. Uh, Alright, so it's RPG. We want dialogues all the way up. Artificial intelligence, not so much. And we'll bring level design down. Alright. Planet GG has recently published an interview with Sly Death Man Inc. According to the interview, the company is working on its first, tar first game targeted at mature audiences. Phil Robertson, owner and CEO of Sly Death Man Inc., said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and we are willing to take the risk to give it to them. Many industry experts say that sooner or later games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Oh, we got some hype from that. Developing a great game is not only a recipe for success, it is essential to build hype to ensure that players are excited about your game. In the beginning of your career, hype is mostly generated through random events, but once you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. Alright. 
So we got four, five hype now. All right, that's good. Six hype. Jeez, we're just everyone loves this Daggerfall. Today, Vena has confirmed recent rumors about the new gaming console. Announced the Master V. The company claims that the Master V is technically superior and met the massively successful TES by Nintendo and plans to release it in the coming months. All right. Um, all that seems good. Ooh, we're getting even more hype. Everyone is excited for Daggerfall. They just can't wait for it to come out. New research available. We can get a mouse. We haven't been using a mouse this whole time for a computer. What are we doing? Oh my god, Phil. Alright. Ironed out the bugs. Let's bring it out to the public. Ooh, new company records. Is it a great combo? It is a great combo. Alright, so engine went up, gameplay, all that. 2D graphics v2 leveled up. Phil, you're still a child, but soon you'll be in the throes of adolescence in level wise. Come on, I want the reviews. We have 69,000. Alright, the first reviews for Daggerfall came in. Alright, uh, not so good. Maybe a 7. Alright, you know, it's, it's, a, it's okay. It's not what I was hoping for. Alright, oh, Informed Gamer loves it. 9. Are we gonna 9? Outstanding by Game Hero. Alright. I'm gonna pick this 7. Alright, and all games are enjoyable. Let's hope we make lots of money off this. How many? 8.5 thousand sales in the first week that is fantastic all right while we're rolling in money we're gonna make a new game engine after we research the mouse according to our market research the recently published game Daggerfall is a surprise hit with players the developer Sly Death Man Inc is fairly new to the gaming industry but we cannot wait for what they will develop next yeah, you better. We have 279,000 in the bank. We've successfully researched the mouse. Alright, let's create a new game engine. We'll put all of this in here. 150k. We'll call it the Slimatic. Uh, it's not really a 1.2, I'd say it's more of a 1.5 update. Create the engine. And we're putting everything to 100 right there. Today, the new game button platform Master V by Vena has been released. Alright. This game engine better pay off, and at least we're still gaining some money from Daggerfall. The recently released game console Master V by Vena has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America but that it will flourish in other parts of the world. Phil is just pumping out ideas in this new game engine. Alright, Daggerfall is now off the market. It sold 44,129 units, starting $308,946 in sales. We have 30 research points, 31 research points, and we finish a Slimatic 1.5. Alright. Now? No. Can't even hit buttons? Alright. We're gonna make... Hmm. Let's research sci-fi, actually. So we have a new topic to go on. Because sci-fi games are always popular. Gonna make a sly a sci-fi game, Slimatic 1.5, and we're gonna just gonna get billions of dollars off of it. I can already predict it. Sci-fi. Let's make it a sci-fi action game for the. Hmm. Should we do it for the G64? It has more of a market share. Costs fifteen thousand more dollars than the PC. Let's do it. We're rolling in money. We can afford it. Slimatic 1.5. Uh, we're gonna target this at mature audiences. We're gonna call it sci-fi action game. We're gonna call it Battlefront. And reminisce of Star Wars Battlefront 1. I really hope they make Star Wars Battlefront 3. Been waiting for that for a while. 
2D Graphics V2 for 30,000. Let's do it. Alright, so it's an action game, so stories and quests, almost none. Let's put all this in there. So gameplay is going to be our top thing, and then engine down there. We can still have a linear story in there, but it's not going to be used that much. Alright, development stage 1 for 30,000, okay. We're already dipping into the funds there. We can research casual games. We have 1,000 fans, and we've only been doing this for three years. Alright, dialogues, very minuscule. AI, we want to bring up. And level design, full bore. Alright. So we're going to have world design, graphics. Put some more into that graphics. You know, we want this game to look beautiful. Recent market today shows the Govador G64. Oh no! Oh no, this is the worst situation we could possibly be in. An unofficial statement by G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against the newer and more advanced PCs. Alright, iron out those bugs before the market share is too low. Come on, Phil. Hurry up. I don't think we're breaking any records with this one. It's not like Daggerfall. Oh, we actually got a new technology record. And this is very balanced, so 17 and 18, so I think we're going to get good reviews based on that. Any of Any? Nope. Alright, Phil, you're almost level 3. We need to make some money off this. First review for Battlefront came in. I saw some 10s. A 6. Quirky, but good. Star Games. What are you doing? Alright, Informed Gamer likes it. Game Hero, thank you, thought it was a good game. This is going to be 5, I know it has its moments. Alright, Battlefront 1 did not go as planned. We are not going to make billions on it. But, we're still going to make money. 5,000 sales in the first week. Not horrible, but not good. Let's do some contract work to help us along. Uh, anything that's very low? I don't think so. Yeah, no, everything's too high level for Phil. So quickly, let's just make another game. Just do some random stuff. Do a medieval adventure game for the... Hmm, the G64 still is more than a PC. I think we'll go PC though, because they're almost identical, but this one's $15,000 less. Slimatic 1.5. All right, a medieval adventure. Medieval adventure, what should we call it? Let's call this... Um, Viking Wars. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. It's gonna be for mature people. We're mature based game development. 2D Graphics V2. Start development. Alright, it's an adventure, so we have a little bit of stories and quests in there. And everything else stays the same. Today, Ninvento has announced that they will be introducing a portable gaming device they call GameLink. The device comes out with a changeable game cartridge and a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via a connection cable. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the game link is underpowered, but given the low in cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. The game link is set to hit shelves in the next month. Alright. Viking Wars Adventure, so we're gonna have okay dialogues. Our AI will go down a little bit and we'll keep level design up. Because we always want our games to look nice. Still making a little bit of money off Battlefront. That's always good. Alright, so. We'll pull graphics down a little bit again and bring sound up a little bit. Again, I don't think we're gonna break any records with this. Iron out those bugs, Phil. Alright, so 20 design, 17 technology. Still pretty balanced. Alright, and the Gameling by Ninvento was released. Battlefront's now off the market. Sold 23,798 units, generating $166,614 in sales. It's pretty good, pretty good. I don't think anyone in real life would complain about that. Did not break any records, but 
level 3 engine, level 3 gameplay. Anything else? So close for a level 3 level design. And Phil, you're now level 3. Good job. You're in the throes of adolescence. Let's see what the reviews are. First reviews came in for Viking Wars. Oh, it's in the middle. It's not It's not good. Oh no. Medieval and Adventure is a great combination. Oh no. It flopped. It has its moments. I've, I've seen better. Oh, come on. Why don't you guys like it? It's Viking Wars. Alright. Fives across the board. But, you know, at least we didn't get fours in there. Once I get fours, I feel like I utterly fail. And somehow we got 7.3 thousand sales in the first week, and with Daggerfall we got 7.5. I don't know how- oh wow, but that was a major dip in sales. As soon as everyone got this, they were like, do not get that game. With growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for the game developers to market their upcoming games. Alright, so we can research marketing. Um, we can do that, but I think this might be a good place to end it here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, join us back next time when we research marketing and hopefully make a lot more money. Maybe make a sequel to Viking Wars. I don't know. Maybe people will like that. But um, hit like and subscribe if you like. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.